over the years, one thing that has really come up again and again in my life is this need to be inspired, to be able to create work that I am proud of or that satisfies me as a creative. So being inspired to create work has both been extremely satisfying, but at times it has also been extremely frustrating because I get to these creative blocks where I feel like I cannot do something without inspiration. So I think that this topic is very close to my heart. It's very personal to me. And in this video, I just want to talk to you a little bit about this idea of depending on inspiration to create. I also want to talk a little bit about the relationship between creativity and limitations. I think a good starting point for this video is this quote that I heard years ago that said, inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us just show up and get to work. And it's a quote by Chuck Close, who is an artist himself, surprisingly. Now, there's a couple of things that are implied here. Like, for example, that if you depend on inspiration, you don't get things done. You cannot get work done. Or that if you depend on inspiration, you are an amateur. You are not a professional. I think there is some truth in both of these points that I mentioned. Yes, if you are a professional, you can work without inspiration. If you know how some tools work, or if you know techniques, yes, you can get work done. And yes, maybe you can even find success as a professional. You can really sell a product that looks creative, but in the end, I think that inspired work is different than non-inspired work. And if you go to a museum and you see so many pieces of work in the walls, paintings or sculptures, I think it would be a little bit ridiculous to say that some of those pieces are not made by professionals. In the end, what is a professional really? I mean, an expert, somebody that knows the tool. How can you just say that Mozart was not a professional or an expert in his area? I mean, you can just listen to his music and you can just feel the inspiration running through every note. I feel like inspiration just makes work that transcends. And that has to do with the other point that I was telling you. Yes, creating work that depends on inspiration or you as a creative kind of like not being able to work if you feel like you're not inspired, it is limited. But creative inspiration, I feel, is all about going beyond these limits. I kind of feel like Limitations are an essential part of creativity. Whenever you have this creative inspiration, is it, it really is what allows you to see beyond. It just opens a door to a world that you have not seen before in front of your eyes, even in a project or whatever you are doing. And it allows you to really go beyond these limits. And actually, if you are creating work, based only on technique or only on the knowledge that you have and not really caring about being inspired, you are also limited. But in this case, of course, you are just limited to your own knowledge or to your own experience. So the closest thing, I think, to be free or to be able to create work that transcends is through being inspired. It's crazy because you cannot really Say, you know what, okay, tomorrow I will sit down at 1 p.m. and I will work on this and I will be inspired and I will get the things that I have to get done. No, 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 like inspiration doesn't translate to time. So if you are actually doing this as a living, it is kind of like a whole, whole different thing, you know. And I'm not saying that being a professional or knowing the technique or knowing your tools is not important because I think that's very, very important. The thing is that you shouldn't limit yourself to that or you shouldn't just get used to the tools or the techniques or the experience 
And also, I'm, I'm, I'm just talking as a creative, you know, there is not, shouldn't, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. You can do that. And I'm telling you, if you're happy to create like that and just get money and you don't feel like you're unsatisfied or that you could do more, then you will be very happy with this quote. <laughs> well, the truth is that to be able to create work that reaches other people and that really makes people connect with you or with your work in a higher level, it is only, I think, through inspiration. So over the years, I have actually gone through the three different sides of this phrase that I was telling you about. First, I was saying, okay, you know what? I will be a professional, everything perfect. I know the technique, I know the tools, the business side well, successful. But as a creative, pretty bad. I was just sad, I was frustrated. Then I went to the other side. I said, you know what? I will not care about the business. I will just create things that are inspired. And then as a business, I was not super successful at first. And as a creative, I was also pretty frustrated. Why? Because I had people waiting for the projects, asking me, where's my wedding? Where is my video? Where is this? Where is that? And I was there sitting in front of the computer trying to come up with ideas that would come up from the heavens that were inspired and nothing would come. <laughs> so I think I have come to a middle point, kind of to accept that inspiration is important and that I'm seeking inspiration, but that I also know the tools and that I also know the techniques to get me out of trouble if I need to work under time pressure and stuff like that. I think more important is number one, understand that limits are part of the creative inspiration process. Actually, it's proven by research that for something to be engaging, there has to be some kind of challenge or obstacles. And it's in the overcoming of those obstacles that you as a creative can find more interest or more passion for whatever you're doing, more satisfaction. Number two is trying to have habits in place. Habits that will allow you to exercise this inspiration muscle. Try to surround yourself with things that inspire you even whenever you're not using that inspiration. So that whenever you're sitting down in front of a project that requires you to really come up with new ideas, you always have this bank of things that already moved you before and that you can come and take them out and use them. I have learned also, of course, to kind of like budget my time for, for being inspired. So part of my process on getting things done is actually letting some time for experimentation. And number three, I think that perfectionism is kind of an enemy of all of this creation or being inspired and all that because it really can stop you more than inspiration itself can stop you, I think. Learn to say, you know what? Good enough is good enough in this situation. I feel like, for example, in these videos, I could do so much better. I could really put some colors in the background, different kind of lights. I could do some camera movements. I can shoot some B-roll. I can put some exciting music. But in the end, that would totally kill, <laughs> kill my motivation for sharing or for trying to make this as frequent as I want to do it. Because for me, the important part right now about all this is sharing and trying to make the habit of sitting in front of the camera and trying to express some thoughts. So all of the other things that could make the video more perfect at this point, I have to say, you know what? This is good enough. Let's just get it out. And I hope that some of these ideas can reach somebody. I think that you do have to think about this very clearly, what kind of person you are. If you do need inspiration to create, then search for it. And if you think that you don't need inspiration, that you are just totally fine, even if it's a creative field, you're totally fine by just working by your own knowledge and by the tools and by the techniques that already are there. It's totally fine. 
If you do need inspiration, actually, it's not easy. You know, inspiration will not open from the heavens and it will come like, I don't know, like a miracle or something. So it requires effort. But the satisfaction, I think, is pretty big. I mean, it has been for me. So, yeah, understanding that limitations are part of creativity, having habits in place, and letting go of perfectionism. Those are three things that I can tell you that are super important. And understand that a society needs both science and poetry. There's nothing wrong with being an amateur. There's nothing wrong with being a professional. There's nothing wrong with depending on inspiration. And it's totally okay if you don't care about inspiration at all. Whatever makes you happy. Anyways, I hope some of this was useful to you guys. I'll talk to you soon.